What up, zombie? Kendall, what's going on? What's popping? It's Friday. I got options. I can pass that ball like Stockton. Joshin. Get this shared quick. Holy Toledo's, I got a lot of people popping in here real fast. Like, let me get all my hellos going here. Zombie, Kendall, Ballsy, three cars, Glenn, Cyclone, a pack ripper. What's poppin', brother? Z uh, Zoid, Zoid, Void Start, Flanagan, three card, Kendall. What's going on, guys? So. Tonight I'm going to actually be going through some more mail days because, like I think I told you guys like a couple days ago or earlier in the week, I've kind of been going a little over crazy on cards and buying stuff. Um, but what else do you do, man? Quarantine and chill. You got to have stuff coming in, fresh stuff to look at. Uh, you're going to see some... You're going to see this amazing deal I got from a dude on Twitter that decided like a week ago that he was going to quit collecting. And he, it wasn't like his whole collection, but it was a couple cards and a bunch of like perfect looking one touches all in separate sleeves and stuff. Uh, and I'll tell you what I got it for. What's up, Boomer and Noah? Hope you guys are doing well. Good to see you guys in here. Hope all is well. It's Friday. Austin's in the house. Um, so I'm going to go through that. I'm going to go through everything I've been getting in the mail like that I didn't go through yesterday. I actually got a whole lot big box from BITG that I'm going to go through. I'm also going to be showing the next decent card that I'm going to be giving away next to the Lamar Jackson on May 1st during the 24-hour stream, the second 24-hour stream of your boy Deafness45. What's up, Casey? Hope you're doing well. So we're going to go through that. I'm going to show off kind of what we picked up, what we've gotten on eBay that's come in. There was a lot yesterday. There's a lot more today from last night. Probably some more stuff coming in that uh, I won't have yet as I'm doing this right now live. And our mail gets here a little late. Um, but, uh, man, just uh, just insane. And, again, I want to shout out 616. Um, he's continuing to send money. And everybody else that's been donating to help out uh, feed families and and spread some love and help some people in need. It's truly amazing. Um I don't have any Luca rookies, no. Three cards. I haven't gotten any new Luca stuff in. No. Yeah, decent. Decent card. So I'll re I'll tell you what it is or let you know what it is what it is after we get through everything. And then so anybody watching this that's new, please make sure you are subscribed. Uh make sure you're following me on Twitter as well at I am Defense45. I am going to be doing a lot of crazy giveaway stuff come May 1st when I stream for 24 hours. Yes, my old 42-year-old self is going to stream for 24 hours on May 1st, Friday at about 6 o'clock at night Central Standard Time to Saturday, 6 p.m. Central. That'll just roll into probably Guns' uh, crazy auction night, Saturday nights. So we're going to get some Zions right now on the dirt cheap. Nice, dude. That's that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, glad to be hanging out. Thanks again for the overwhelming today. No, that's sweet, man. I know that, uh, I know that truth told you sending you those cards, like a Tatis auto and stuff, Boomer and Noah. I, he showed me a picture that he had dropped it off at the post office today. So it'll be on its way to you, you know, just give it some time. I don't know how long it takes to get there. I know you guys are international Canadian, so I don't know what that time frame looks like, but, uh, uh, Either way, just be patient and you'll have some nice stuff. I know probably some other people have reached out to send you packages as well. Uh, keep holding your head high, Noah. Know that uh, you are cool. You are a good kid. And there's a lot of people here and a lot of other places that support you. And we are behind you 100%. So, yeah. So, RSR just wanted to reach out as well. What's going on, RSR? Uncle Stewie, Kaboom Box. Uh, Boomer email, and I will send you and Noah some cards. I saw that Noah likes the Padres and pitchers. Who do you like? Email me. There you go. So reach out to RSR. RSR will be live tomorrow, hopefully. I would or Sunday, excuse me. I'm getting my days mixed up. Tomorrow night is BITG and Jimmy Guns. Uh, tonight will be BITG as well. And then 
Sunday afternoon is RSR. RSR, I don't know if you saw me tweet something on Twitter the other day. Uh, Buckeye Cardnut is planning to do an auction. Uh, I forget what time he posted it on. Uh, he didn't really reach out to me. That's I didn't feel he needed to. But I think you guys can work. I think you guys can work it out. Yeah, Eloy's live. I think I talked about that earlier yesterday, whatever. Um, but I think you and Buckeye can work it out so there's not too much overlap. Maybe you could start an hour or two earlier if that works in your schedule or I don't know. Maybe just have a little overlap and it's just the way it is. Um, but uh, So you'll have all that to, to go with on Sunday. And then Sunday night when they get done, I'll have my Sunday shout-outs uh, stream. And then Monday again, like I said, we will be having Kedrick on who's gonna be another great guest i'm kind of it, it's shocking to me to say the least and it is what it is but i'm kind of disappointed in the turnout we get on these in depth with deafnesses um like the story last week was insane plowman had some interesting stuff to say um i really thought we would get better feedback better views with it and maybe it's just going to take some time i don't know um but i'm kind of shocked because it's usually typically pretty interesting and we really get to know about these people um and some of these people have some insane stories like they could make a movie about some of this stuff like in all honesty so it is what it is um we're going to keep doing us and we're going to keep moving forward and, and that's just what we're going to do uh so all right so i'm gonna start going through um some stuff you guys know i've been on a karis levert kick so and i already took these out of the packages so we didn't have to do all that but uh probably do a rainbow here because i i'm getting just about every one of his base from uh you know, they're like a buck or two a piece couple brand of ingrams i don't know if those were just throwing in in a deal or what so i think i bought them all a lot or something trey young trey young splash this is a beauty guys how about that mike trouty mike trouty heritage rookie nice card pretty nice card right there not too shabby rsr has got some stuff going on his daily sales stuff all right now this 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 is the 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 deal i got okay so 25 dollars shoot sorry baby all right guys uh Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, 25 bucks. Like, there is... These are all in, like, sleeves. There's... There's probably, like, 25 one-touches. It all came in this big bag. This is all... This was all $25, guys, from one dude on Twitter. But that's not all that was in there. So he was he collected Lonzo Ball, which is one of my PC guys. This whole stack over here, everything else that was in it. Green Lonzo, insert optic Lonzo, uh, whatever dealio. This was in here a Finley, a uh, bubble. This was all twenty five bucks. Lonzo Ball insert pink from Optic, numbered to 25, 12 of 25. Optic Contenders die cut, Ben Simmons, not one, two. Optic Blue Simmons, he was, it must have been a Simmons, Ben. Uh, this is numbered to 25. 20 of 25. Insert Ben Simmons. This is all 25 bucks. What up, Buckeye? How you doing, brother? 
It's talking about your auction. So you and RSR. RSR has an auction on Sunday too. Uh, you guys maybe can figure out time so you're not overlapping each other too much. This is not a Jordan real rookie. This is a, it says Fleer Decade of Excellence, 86 to 96. So this was like some reprint thing. Um, either way, still cool. Like a 10 year later type card. Uh, Simmons Prism. And then this is from Optic Contenders as well. And not a number, but it's a cracked ice. So all this stuff right here was 25 bucks plus. Like all these came in the one touches. And then there's like 25 more one touches that are in perfect condition. So. Yeah, so you guys try to work it out so you don't overlap, I guess, is the best thing I suggest. That way you guys are both maximizing on viewers, buyers, etc. Alright, so now we're going to start going through BITG's mail day. And again, this is not one week, guys. This is a couple weeks, typically. He did just send me one, though, not too long ago. A little bit sooner or later. I have him keep all of the, uh, the base and give them away or do whatever with them. Only hits, rookies, etc. So... Let's start diving in. Oh. It. Sure he threw some extra stuff in here, but it is what it is. I'm gonna put this to the side. That to the side for last. All right. All right. Uh, I want all this stuff to go all over the place, but all right. So we're just gonna start going through this though. Did you get? Yeah, I just. Yeah, it's it's in this box. So we got Alonzo to three forty nine. Donruss, pretty sweet card. Acuna. Uh, Delamonico pink insert Moncada Elite Series insert shiny. Oh, this was a nice one. I remember this card from that leaf stuff he's been breaking the game, best in the game, or whatever. That's Greg Maddox numbered to three. Uh, signature sticks. I don't know. Is that like a bat that maybe he auto that he struck out someone against or something? These are my sapphire hits. Uh, did somebody give me it? No, I did hit the Polanco. Polanco. Ali. Rondon. They're all sapphire from the box breaks he did. Haney. Greg Bird. Got that. Yeah, that Maddox is sick, isn't it? To three. Uh, Robert Bowman, number 29. Robles. Granite. Hoskins. Chase Adams to 50. Torres, Chrome, Prospect. And Bregman, home run, dirty. 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 I said dirty because he is dirty, right? He's a dirty player. Bregman. All right. All right. I didn't. Even, I didn't realize I hit these already. But Brian Lareke, or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Justin Herbert. This dude's supposed to be a beast. Oregon's quarterback. Those are from Leaf. Pretty sweet. Yeah. That must. Those must be surprises because I don't remember hitting those. It must be something you opened and then you just decided to throw in my box. I appreciate it. Edward Alvarez, Bowman, Otto, Odell, Dell, Paper, Alonzo, Paper, Moose Hairs, Aquino, Donner's rated rookie, Sunny Gray to 353, Strasburg to 317. Polar Bear, Donruss. Uh, there you go. Mayas, Tatis, and 
Christian, you know this dude's uh, playing in Japan or Korea right now, and he just crushing home runs? That Christian Valea or whatever? I saw that he is just beasting right now in, like, uh, Japan or something. I lucked into trading the set. Not No moose hairs, but a moose relic. There you go. Brian Abreu, auto. John Rust. Javier Baez to $9.99. Man, these cards just look like they should be lower than $9.99 just because of how crazy and shiny they are. Shout out to Papino Man. Hope he's doing well. Nico Horner. Uh, Gun said he was. Haven't seen him for a while. Uh, Blue Horner. To 100. Rizzo. Keeping it 100. Marco Gonzalez to 34. Justin Dunn to 270. Sure, just some basketball throw-ins here, maybe some old stuff. Uh, some some PC love done. Levine, Levine, nice. Daniel Marshall, Wiggins, Wiggins Court Kings, boom. Jordan Bell, who's on the Wolves now. Another Patty Mahomes. I found one of these that uh, Tom T. I think sent me the other day. So awesome. The real that's actually Patrick Mahomes' father. He played for the Twins. He was drafted by the Twins. He was a top prospect in baseball. Patty Mahomes is good at baseball too. Vanderbilt rookie who's there. That's cool. These are really cool. Premium Robinson. Look at that. Shaq. Allen. Hardaway. Walker. And Nash. Who had great, 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 great court vision. One of the best. One of the best at court vision. Oh, did you you send me those, Bash? Why, well, sorry then, I must have missed it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I'm getting your stuff ready to ship out your optic stuff and rounding some other things up for you. Route, uh, whatever they call these, uh, vapor or whatever. Reynolds to 219. Morton, high number. Might be a short print. Uh, just a high number. Solar to 349. Donruss. Meadows to 200. Uh, Willie Adams classified auto. Donruss. Got a lot of good stuff, guys, for sales and whatnot. Oh, but it's it's going to get real good here towards the end. Real, real good. It's already been good, but... McKay. K blue oil ripkin is 75 not sure why you didn't keep that now this was these were given to me by truth i got the twin or he got the twins or in his stacks or his team whatever so i got the 249 for pc love i got the 999 uh chapman shout out jim f and all those ace fans another polar bear man of steel the 500 Cool looking card. And Casey Ortiz and, and BITG, you know it's got a player on the back, right? Like Grandall. So usually breakers or whatever when they're doing that. I think that too, probably, but you go off of who the player on the back is and whatever team they're on. Because you don't know who's on the US teams. Alright. Um Ryan Finley. From Optic Contenders. I don't know where he's going to land or if he'll just be a backup. Beautiful card. Just don't know what's going to happen with him. Vaughn Miller. Shout out RSR. Those Bronco fans. Dell. Areas. Nice. Lux. Opening day rookie. And a Kenley Jansen. Chrome. To $9.99. Big ol' stacks. What's up, Justin Time Card? How you been, man? You doing well, brother? Uh, Reyes, blue. Kurloff to nine ninety nine. Nelson Cruz, blue a foil. Nine ninety nine. Jan Mancada. There's a Robert Donruss, rookie, rated rookie. Other one. I actually bought one of his. I told uh. 
BITG this to 999 Tim Anderson. I told I bought a base uh Robert the other night on eBay. Just cuz 15 bucks. I just figured just to put one. I don't PC him, but just to put one. Have a rookie of his or two. Uh this was in the archives. Mike Lieberthal 99. Uh we got a Mets team guard 74. Gonna have Seaver on it and Nolan Ryan. Sick. This was from Stewie, right? The Fred Lynn special. 1983 Fleer stamps. Graded stamp. An eight. This will forever go in the PC, brother. I I thank you, man. I appreciate you. That's awesome. This is a sweet, sweet piece here. If you guys don't know the story, uh BITG in one of his set break things was like, uh, I hit a Fred Lynn rookie card. And I was like, Fred who? Like, I was like, that sucks. And I was like, actually, one of the more decent cards is Fred Lynn. Chavez? Is this another stack from Bash? Yeah, so it's a pretty cool, there's a cool story behind it. So Fred Lynn kind of stuck to me, kind of like Mo Vaughn is. Dang, look at this. Ish Smith Auto. Put that in a top loader. Got a little Rubio Love. A column. Hood. Millsap. Markeith Morris. Nice patch. Mitch McGarry. Patch to 25. OKC. Okay, Got a Scal. Rookie Jerseys patch. Oh, nice. Carry on, Butler. You know, I don't know if you guys know much about old basketball players, but Carry on, Butler's mom actually, um, I think it was his mom, HIV, something, or he had got he had gotten HIV. One of the, there's some, some story behind it, and I don't remember the full thing. Chris Dunn, rookie, that's cool. And, oh, nice, and, Wow, team trademarks. Look at look at Andre Iguodala on the Sixers, man. Look at that on the Sixers right there. Wowzers! I don't see that too often. I don't see a card with him. That's old, man. It's old right there. Uh, and that's the '99, '60 and '99. It's 2009, guys. 2009. Wow, dude, I'm blown away, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Still got we still got a couple more stacks to go through here. What to get those sleeved up? Phone still ringing after five on a Friday night for work. We got a coal to nine ninety nine. What's up, hobbyist? How you doing, man? We got a Michael King auto. Got a lot of autos for the sales. Uh, 149 Judge. 999 Judge. Ricky Henderson. And is Jay Bird in here at all? Joey Gallo. Joe Palbumo to 100. If he watches this later or whatever, man, I appreciate the hobby love with the Mitch Garber. Crazy Donruss auto you hit that you told BITG to put in my stack. It's incredible, man. Thank you. I, got, I showed a couple people that Mitch Garber I bought today. I'll show you guys before we get off. Hopefully I'll get it soon. Okay, I bought a Kyle Lewis. I bought a nasty patch Mitch Garber to 25 National Treasures patch auto. I got a really good deal on it. I did a best offer and I lowballed hope because I figured he was going to best like do a do it back like a counter back and he didn't counter back he just straight up straight up uh took the offer so all right we got a couple more cards to show yet we got this chris yelich christian yelich one of one pulled by bitg one of one you guys see that there as seen on tv donruss one of one 
That's nasty. And then here's the big dog that I've that I've hit in the last couple weeks. Last week or two. Jaybird, you're in the house, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. That's that's incredible. It's just awesome of you to do that for me. And even just think to to put it in. I know balls. Me and Pauls were talking earlier today, too, and he had mentioned, you know, reaching out, like, well, we got to figure out what's it going to take, and you're already like, nah, it's already going in the stack. So I appreciate it. And this is the big dog right here. Nick Bosa, encased, quad, rookie, mem, one of one. Quad, cam, one of one, guys. Freaking beautiful card. One of one. Beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful card, dude. So, I told you guys that there was going to... So, yeah, guys, if you're not already breaking up BITG, I mean, this is like a week and a half, two weeks worth of stuff. He threw in some extras. There were some other extras from other people, but still. Uh, got a big old box, mail day, and... I tell him to keep my base. He will ship you your base if you want them as well. I just don't prefer to have them. What's up, Urban Card Breaks? It's been a while, brother. Good to see you in here. Hope you're doing well. Um, So here's what's going to happen. So May 1st, it's going down, the 24-hour stream. The second from your boy, Deafness45. I'm going to post this card. I'm going to take a picture, and I'm going to put it on Twitter when we get off here live. And I'm going to, this is going to be, you'll have to be following me on Twitter. You'll have to be subscribed to my channel. And you'll have to retweet uh, my tweet. So if you guys don't have Twitter, make a Twitter. I've been telling you guys forever, just do it. Even if you can, you can mute. You can mute notifications. You can keep notifications off. You can go check whenever you want to. Whatever you want to do. But this is going to be a Twitter slash YouTube uh combo thing uh to be able to be eligible and just like the lamar jackson i posted that on twitter as well so now we're gonna have both of these cards you can see them maybe both of these cards in the giveaway and uh yeah uh man i'm uh I'm looking forward to this uh, to this 24-hour stream. So you got you have to be subscribed. You have to be on. You have to be following me on Twitter, and you have to retweet this once I tweet it. Okay, I'll do it after we get off here tonight. Um, but uh, there's obviously going to be other things involved. I'm slowly adding things as we go. You guys remember what's up, JT? You guys remember last time there was like a Jerry Rice auto jersey that was involved in the last 24 hour stream as well as all the packs we went through uh there's gonna be it's gonna be the same kind of thing there's gonna be break credits okay um which shoot we still gotta i forgot about doing that i still gotta give away some break credits for bitg and what else so i gotta work on that for the 1550 and then we're gonna be doing more for uh, we'll give more away during the 24-hour stream. Maybe I'll make that a special separate stream here in the next couple days or whatever. Maybe next Friday. I mean, whatever. We already did the other cards and the blasters and all that, but we're still going to do what I said we were going to do. I just got sidetracked. I apologize. Um, a lot going on, especially with everything happening in today's world. Sometimes you get sidetracked. So uh this again is up for grabs for free to one lucky supporter of both twitter and the youtube channel it will be drawn and given away on may 1st during some time during the 24 hour stream as well as this lamar jackson rookie obsidian 250 so as well as other stuff this is just kind of the start. This is just kind of the the tip of the old iceberg to figure out exactly what all we're gonna do. Um, so, I mean, really awesome man. Glad to see it, Eli. What's going on? So Eli will have his stuff like we talked about earlier tonight as well going on his auction and his card breaks. So 
you guys check him out. BITG will be live as well doing his stuff, as always. Um, again, guys, I'm going to post it on Twitter here once I get off. But this is going to be up for grabs as well now. 101 in case Nick Bosa quad rookie card, as well as the Lamar. And other stuff will be added, and packs will be added, and whatnot. Um, who knows? I'm not a. I'm not gonna start doing breaks, but who knows? Maybe, just maybe, during the 24-hour stream, maybe we'll start making it a thing. During my 24-hour stream, maybe when I'm getting boxes and products open, as I was gonna give cards away, maybe, just maybe, I break things up and do a couple mixer breaks that are free during the 24-hour stream spread out as well at different times. Not that I'm going to be a breaker, just to be part of everything going on. You can do breaks, so I can get cards now. <laughs> yeah. Well, this would just be during the 24-hour stream, just to, whenever I do them, just to do some extra giveaways. Okay, go. I'll take five. Or sorry, I got your email. I have them. Just need to update. Oh, okay, cool. He's looking for some stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, if you guys need supplies, hey, hit him up. Um, again, guys, stacks beyond. So we got a bunch of new cards coming in. Again, like I told you guys, I've been going a little crazy. Oh, I was gonna show you guys this card. I totally forgot. Let me do this. Let me pull it up quick. Uh. uh. I'm going to switch it. You guys got to see this card I picked up today. Super sick. I'm going to switch screens. So you're going to see a screen for a second. So for the pc so this card number to 25 national treasures rpa he had it on there for 325 bucks and i offered him 260 because i figured he would counter and he took it so i paid him today it should be coming out here um <clears throat> i'm <clears throat> very excited to add this to the to the garver pc yeah dude it's super sick and it's to 25 national treasures and you know i get it man you can see little but that's how these cards usually are these thick cards you typically don't get them graded like it's a card you put in a one touch they typically are that way they're just big and bulky and it's just kind of the way they are man yeah, yeah, it's sick, man. I mean, Scar is going to be one of the best. I, th I think, Kendall, I think he has a great possibility of doing that. We just got to get baseball going again. I mean, he just came out of nowhere last year. Definitely one of my top players on the Twins. Uh, just fell in love with how he plays the game and what he could do. Uh, just a monster, man. I mean, he could be a lead. He, he was a leadoff on some games. Like, he could be a leadoff hitter. To have your catcher be able to be a leadoff hitter, he didn't do it all the time. Kepler was typically the guy. Um, but for your catcher to be able to do that, pretty flippin' amazing. Shows how well his 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 batting ability is and his swing is. So, yep. So definitely, 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 definitely. Uh, the 33 Gaudi Ruth I traded for, that's awesome. I'm really excited to see that. I'm really excited to see that JT, that card when you get it. Uh, yeah. yeah, three cards, man. Just reach out to him, email him, whatever. Harmon was the best for a Twinkie. Harmon Killebrew? Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably. But he'll probably, if he can continue to stay healthy and play, he'll probably be the best. He could have the, the potential. He's got a long way ahead of him. I mean, he's only had really one season, full season of baseball in him. So... Yeah, dude, it's super excited for that, dude. So, yeah, I got that. And again, guys, it, it goes to show you again, in these times right now, if you're still working, if you can still afford to, if you still want to buy cards, don't be afraid. I know we watch cards on eBay. It's nothing new. I'm not telling you guys anything new. 
But don't be afraid to put watches on. Don't be afraid to offer a little low on cards that have best offers because you just don't know right now, man. People, people are just wanting money. And they'd rather, you know, it's kind of that mentality I tell you guys. When you're selling cards that you don't PC, that aren't like super crazy high-end cards, just sell them, sell them a lot lower just to move them. Just get rid of them. Why have them sit around? Why have them collect dust? Why move them around? Why continue to list them? Continue to try to sell them multiple times. Put a price on it. It's going to ship. It's going to sell and sell it. But the people are having that same mentality when they're in need of money right now. So they'll take whatever. If they have an offer and they feel like it's it's semi-reasonable for them, they're going to jump on it, man. They're going to take it. So you know what I think? A low offer, hoping for them to come. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I did on this, guys. Exactly. I, I told him 260 because I figured he was going to come in around what I was going to originally offer. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that to myself. Because if he counters me, it's going to be another $15, $20, $25 higher than you know what I what I offer or come in at. So I'm like, you know what? I'll do 260 And boom. He didn't even counter. He just took it. So, yes. And if it's collecting dust, send racks. Yes. Shout out to... Shout out to everybody again who's been donating to help families. We sent, I sent uh, funds to help out another family just a little while ago before I went live. Um, and uh, shout out to Balls, man, and anybody else who's doing stuff, man. He sent out like nine or ten racks uh, today or yesterday. Uh, they're heading out to people. So just, you know, and like he said, you know, he always tries to tell me. You know, well, they're not, it's not like they're crazy big cards or anything. That's not, that, that's, that's not the point. The point is not to rack somebody. It doesn't have to be a $200, $300, $500 card. It can be as simple as just a player that somebody likes that's a $2 card, dollar card, whatever, a couple dollar cards that you're, that you're giving them. You're thinking about them. You send it to them. Just the thought of you sending it to them and them not paying anything and you thinking of just, hey, this, this go to him. It's just like Jaybird, man. I can't. I'm still blown away. Like, uh, first, BITG told me, he's like, oh, yeah, man, uh, Jaybird told me to, th to throw that Garver Donruss fire pink firework auto that he got in your stack. And I was like, what? I was like, I didn't even know you guys hit the Garver. I must have already fell asleep or been out. And then Balls, me and Balls were talking on the phone earlier today, and he's like, yeah, so that... I don't know if anyone's, t or I'm supposed to say anything, or if anyone's told you, but uh, Jaybird hit this crazy Garver auto card. And I'm like, yeah, BITG already told me. And he goes, yeah, I asked him, what was it going to take for us to get it in his stack? And he said, don't worry about it. It's already, it's already going in his stack. So, again, man, shout out to you. I appreciate it so much. I'll have to round up some stuff for you or find something, uh, find something to, uh, to get you so but other than that guys what is it it's we've been about 40 minutes yeah it's insane man it really truly is insane man i love it i love it love it love it i can't wait to get it in my possession so i can show it off so again guys you guys might want to refresh my internet's being stupid right now um I'm going to flip back the screens real quick. One second. Again, guys, this... Oop, must have hit something. This right here, I'll be posting the tweet on Twitter. Just have to make sure you're following. Make sure you are... Make sure you retweet it. And make sure you're subscribed, which all you guys will be, man. So um but other than that guys i don't really have a lot more for you there's a lot going on tonight i don't want to eat up too much time i know i don't know if anyone's going live yet or about to go live again eloy will be live bitg breaks will be live uh tomorrow night bitg breaks will be jimmy guns will have his thing sunday rsr and then i think Buckeye Card Nuts going live after RSR. I think they figured out the time so they're not overlapping on their auctions. So you'll have two auctions. You'll have pretty much all day, early evening to go through. 
And then I will probably just hold off and wait. I'll probably just hold off and wait uh, to do my stream until Buckeye Card Nuts done. Or I'll do something earlier in the day real quick before RSR goes live. We'll figure it out. I, a lot of times I do Saturdays, Sundays. I, I can do early. I uh, do my Sunday shout outs whenever. So we'll figure it out. I'll work around you guys, obviously. Um, yeah, closing statements. Yes, yes. Like Jerry Springer, right? Um, but yeah, uh, crazy. This is also getting thrown in 10 a.m. for crazy again. Working Saturdays now as well. This right here also is getting thrown into the giveaways for the 24 hour stream. So, 101 rookie quad, ma'am, Nick Abosa. So, and again, guys, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's been helping out, who's been donating, who's been racking people, who's been doing anything positive to help make people's days right now in these times. You guys just, you, you guys don't understand how, how awesome it is and how important it is um, to do things like that, really help people's days, man. Uh, Tim, man, no worries, man. It's my pleasure. And again, I already got your stuff packaged. You guys' optic boxes will be on their way. Uh, so you'll be ripping them probably in two or three business days, however many days it takes to get there. Oh, man, absolutely, Boomer and Noah. Noah, keep your head up, man. Keep staying positive. We got you, man. We, we, we got your back. We're all rooting. We're all in your corner. Just remember that. So um shout out to coker and his family they uh they had their the their newest baby so shout out to them congratulations to them and their families i don't know if coker will see it he's got his own thing going on what's up sports line in the hospital and whatnot but if he sees this sometime down the road congratulations man it's it's that's awesome uh i guess speedy recovery to Sarah, moderator Maggie, they used to call her. So, um, I have a bunch of mail. That's awesome, man. It's good to have a bunch of mail. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if it's all mail days. That's, it's been like Christmas for me in the last couple of days because I've been going crazy on buying stuff. So, I don't know if I should be or shouldn't be, but you know what? I'm just trying to live normal. I'm trying to go, go as normal and maybe a few extra things showing up so that I can keep myself sane and and uh, keep things going in the right direction, I guess. So, I don't know, man. That's about all I got for you guys. Like, uh, it's been a little over 40 minutes. I don't want to overdo it because I don't really have a lot else. Again, we already talked about what's going on in the next couple of days. I will stream sometime tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be earlier in the day or in the evening, like, I, like around this time. Um... And then Sunday, uh, yeah, just anybody who saw my tweet last night uh, with the kids and whatnot, everything is fine right now. Um, I just, I'm. It'll be interesting to see kind of what's all, what's the, what's the truth and what's not the truth. But um, nothing happened to my kids. Nothing's happened to me. Everything's good there. So. So, other than that, guys, I'm just kind of rambling on right now. I'm going to let you guys continue on with your Friday nights. Check out Eloy. Check out BITG. Guys, and, uh, hell, you can have them probably both on at the same time if you have a phone and a laptop or computer or a, or a tablet. So, check out Crazy tomorrow and everybody else. Uh, and again, we'll have some good stuff. We're going to do another quarter sale on Tuesday night as well. Same thing as last time. Quarter sale Tuesday night. Going to run it back the same way. We had a great time. We had some great feedback from it. So why not? Let's do it. Crazy will have some lots of cheap goodies tomorrow. So spread y'all word and to see we can set some records. Sweet, man. Yeah, help Crazy get his view count up higher than ever and help him sell some stuff. Moving lots for a good price. You guys saw the thing I opened and went through yesterday. Uh, is mailed in on our little trade. Pretty packed. Pretty nice. Pretty solid. So, all right. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow on stream sometime, or I'll see you in whoever else's stream. So, I'm just rambling at this point. Again, I love y'all. Thank you again to everybody who's donated to help out families. We're going to continue to do it every single day. We're going to keep moving it forward. 
and everybody that's out there racking people and hooking people up. Thank you, BITG, for the incredible mail day and all the extras. Uh, yeah, and I'm excited to uh, break tonight. I actually had him pick me up a box of Gypsy Queen, uh, so I have a personal he'll rip at some point after the breaks tonight, so we'll see what we can hit in there. Uh, what's up, Airtime? Hey, man, I want you to reach out to me because I would love to see you. I, I commented on one of your things. Who else would love to see airtime every Sunday morning for his trivia? We need to work something out. I will I will donate funds for shipping costs, cards, giveaways, etc. just to make that happen. I want to see I want to see airtime trivia every Sunday morning, not every other Sunday morning. Let's get it going every Sunday morning because man, I was looking for it last Sunday and I kept looking and I'm going, "What the heck? Did something come up? Did something happen?" Reached out to some other people and they're like, no, he's doing them every other weekend. So let me know, dude. Let me know. Let's let's figure out something. Let's make it happen so it can happen every single Sunday. We need it, especially right now. Did you respond? Did you send me an email? I saw like a, I thought you like thumbs it up or something, but I must have overseen it. I don't know. YouTube has been goofy, man. If it's just through the comments, I'll go back and look. I'll go back and look. So otherwise, we'll figure it out. So. All right, guys. Everybody have an awesome, awesome night. Awesome Friday night. Let's have a great weekend. Again, continue to practice your social distancing, quarantine, and chill. And we're going to get through this thing, man, one step at a time. I love you all. Good night.